Feeling good Feeling good Like a soul that's lost the blues And I'm feeling very, very good Oh, at last My blues passed And I'm free From the blues that have tortured me And I'm feeling mighty, mighty good Feeling good. I'll tell you more about that in a little while. Let me just say welcome to the second half of Both Sides of the Story Part 2. I'm Michael Anthony Cuff, and the voice you're hearing is that of Joan Cartwright. Joan is a fiery jazz and blues singer known internationally as Diva JC. She's in Jamaica as part of the U.S. Embassy's annual concert series in celebration of African American History Month. And uh, that's tomorrow at Hope Gardens. We'll tell you more about it in just a while. In the meantime, let's let me welcome Diva JC. Hi, Diva JC. How are you, Michael? I'm very well and all the better for being in your presence. It's hot. Uh, the microphone? <laughs> 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 nice to have you back with us. I understand this is not your first time to Jamaica. Well, I've made short trips, mm -hmm. two short trips here back in uh, 1999, I think it was, and in 2006. Okay, so welcome back. Nice to have you with us again. Thank this you. time you're actually performing. It's your first performance in Jamaica. That's right. Mm. How do you prepare for a date like this? You say, yay! <laughs> <laughs> first and foremost, <laughs> and then? <laughs> and then you pack your bag and get on the airplane and hope that it's not going to be delayed more than an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Which it was. Yeah. Where's home these days? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Florida. So it's not very far. Just a, just a stone's throw away, as we say in Jamaica. Mm, that's right. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, there, when I say to you, you know, diva JC, there are some performers who are not too um, welcoming of the term diva. Mm -hmm. but what does that term mean to you? Well, somebody named me diva. Somebody, I don't remember who. It could have been a group of people that I was uh, hanging out with in Switzerland, I think it was. And I said, you know, that sounds good if I was just like Diva JC, you know, because they call me JC, which I, I accept because of Jesus Christ, John Coltrane, okay. Joan Cartwright. That's good company. I think that works. <laughs> uh, but the diva kind of slapped a little something more mm -hmm. on it. And uh, so mm -hmm. I... Well, what does diva say to you as a performer? Well, you know, a diva in Italy was the lead singer. Okay, so I toured Italy for four years. And, uh, you know, my piano player, Giovanni Mazzarino, who was playing on that CD you just heard, Feeling Good, we co-produced that. And he might have said, this is my diva. That's what Italians refer to yeah. as their singer. Mm -hmm. You are a singer, songwriter, composer, author, historian. There's a lot of um, individual disciplines there. Um, if I said to you, you know, cruelly, okay, just choose one activity, which would it be? I'm going to sing the blues. You sing the blues. Oh, that's right. Is that how you started out? No, not at all. Uh, I really am a dyed-in-the-wool jazz singer. However, when I moved to Florida from New York, by the way, I'm from Jamaica, New York. Ah. <laughs> when I moved to uh, Florida, uh -huh. I started listening to some of the singers there, and they were singing the blues, and I would watch the reaction of the people. So one day, it's really a long story, but one day this uh, old guy, trumpeter, Sonny, he said, you know what you need to do? I said, what's that? He said, you need to get up on the bar. Well, on Friday, people are going to see me, and they're going to say, she stood up on the But anyway, so one day I had <laughs> pants on, and I got up on the bar, and I said, you know, you people don't want to hear all these beautiful ballads by Duke Ellington. All you want to hear is... Oh, baby. And they scream back at me. Oh, baby. You know, I'm going to do this Friday. So okay. I don't wanna, oh, you're I want everybody to. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so after that, I really started writing and singing a lot of blues. And I've written over 60 songs that are in my songbook uh, classical and jazz pieces. But when I started writing the blues, it was more tangible. Songs like Treat Me Right and You Don't Have to Marry Me. Mm. You know, I don't want nobody's husband. These songs have meaning. And the thing about it is, as I started studying for my master's degree uh, and wrote that book, A History of African American Jazz and Blues, I discovered that the blues was a code that was used by Africans enslaved in America to speak their personal freedom.